Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Unturn video. The Halloween update for Unturn was released not too long ago and we're checking out Tales of Terror. If you remember about three years ago, this map was released and we made a video on it. I never continued playing on it. Um, I had no reason to play on it after Halloween, I felt like. But in this Halloween update, it is said that Spyjack is updating the updating Tales of Terror with new quests, items, and monsters each Thursday leading up to Halloween. So we're going to be checking it out. We're going to start today and we're going to be playing it for quite a while. Um, it's been a while since I made a proper Unturned video, so bear with me if uh, <laughs> if I seem unused to doing this. Because I am. I am very, very, very unused to doing this. But I do hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. So since it's been three years since I made a video on this map, we're going to be doing it on a fresh world. We're going to do all the quests that we can do and so on forth. Um, if you don't know what Tales of Terror is, it's kind of a dungeon crawler for Unturned, made by Spyjack. And it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what the innkeeper has to say. I am in seek of fortune and fame. How can I get myself into a dungeon? Depends which one. There are hundreds in the area. Look for an old man, he could take you to one. Alright, we're gonna look for the old grandpa who's gonna lead us to his dungeon. <laughs> How can I equip myself? You mean to tell me you came all the way out of here without any arms? Ha, ha, ha. That's very a very enthusiastic laugh. Oh, you're serious? In that case, the old man get the old man can get you some basic equipment. So the old man is gonna give us some of his equipment. <laughs> I assume it's this man. It's uh, Gandalf over here. I remember. This is the old man. Adventure, you seek. I may know a thing or two. I heard you can take me to a dungeon. Oh, you seek a dungeon. Well then, I can take you to one. But first, let's make sure everything is in order. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I should make an old vo old man's voice for this. Please take a look at the wall in front of you. Choose your class. Then interact with the door to enter the dungeon. All right. So we have different classes here. Prisons of the Solace. We have Knight, Warlord, Ranger, Rogue, Wizard, and Chemist. And these different classes obviously specify in different weapons, as you can see. And we have the Sword for Knights, Warlord Axes, Ranger Bows, and all that kind of stuff. Um, magic would probably be very, very OP. Um, but I kind of want to be a Warlord at the same time. It's either Warlord or Wizard. That's what I will go with. Knight? I, I don't feel like being a Knight. Like, like look at me. I have a swashbuckler's top on me. I'm, I'm no knight. I, I'm gonna go with wizard, I think. Reload it. I'm not 100% sure how that will work. So, we can choose... I think we choose either one of these items here. Some mana crystal, health potion, or a light crystal. Um, I think we're gonna go with the light crystal for this one. Uh, I think that will be fine. So, we're in the dungeon here, and here's the next room. I assume, oh, we can't shoot in here because we're in a safe zone. That makes sense. Now we're in here. Alright. We're in the dungeon. What is this here? Dear Traveler, I'm leaving these notes behind in the hopes that you will be able to overcome the treacherous of these dungeons. First and most importantly, you must learn to resist your bloodlust. Slow down. Take every corner with caution. You never know what will be around the bend. Don't let getting through the room in one piece go to your head. Small rooms can pose quite a challenge if you don't pick your targets carefully. However, remember that running is always a possibility if you get overwhelmed. I'm I'm not afraid of no ghosts. I'm not gonna run. I'm afraid of skeletons though. But hopefully there won't be too many of those. Torch by any chance? Oh, I can use this to see. Is that what I'm supposed to do? It? I I don't know. I don't think so. But that definitely helps us a little bit. Got a little door here. Oh my god. So what we have to do here is some insane parkour skills. I'm not the best one at doing this, but we will do what we can. Okay, let's go ahead and place a light like right there. That did not help too much. Can we make that jump? Oh, I'll see you when we make it over there, okay? Shouldn't be too hard for us to do that. Oh my god. We're gonna make sure that we have enough energy. So this is gonna take a little bit. <gasps> oh, that was close. I think that was the scariest encounter so far in this game. Alright, there we go. We're gonna wait up our stamina and make sure that we do run this time. That's the door we have to make it to. Alright, here we go. This is- it's now or never. We made it. We have made it to the next door. Oftentimes, there is too many- too many to fight. And in such case, one should look for one- uh, for- for a more stealthy approach. I'm a little bit scared. I am not gonna lie. I am a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't do too well with scary games. We're, this was exactly where we came from. There's going to be someone in the comments saying, don't use the light crystals this much. You, you, you have to save them. 
What if you get into a fight with a uh, skeleton boy? Well, my current issue is that I can't jump, apparently. I don't know, understand how people would ever fail on this. I think it's like really easy, like a little bit too easy maybe. I think I just hit myself with that. There we go, like it's not that hard, you just jump. Just click one button and you're good. So you find your way to the beast of this dungeon. At the top of these stairs awaits a hungry evil with, with only one mission, strike you down. The doors will remain magically sealed until the monster is killed, but hope still exists if you're not fit for combat. If you manage to find an old iron key, look for the hatch and make your escape. Oh my god. You know we have to try to kill this beast. We're gonna throw a rock, because I'm scared. Anyone there? I think I might have bugged the game. Or maybe it's my settings that are messed up. I just realized that, and I've been playing this for half an hour. Hello travelers, I am back. I've turned the settings on so they are the right settings, so that is very good. Um, I thought these were restored by default already earlier, so I apologize for that. Uh, you were probably laughing your ass off, me being scared and uh, realizing that <sighs> there are no monsters. <laughs> but that is alright, we have turned them on and we're gonna go ahead and do a dungeon again. And this time, we will have some foes to kill. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that... There's definitely a difference. This is not optimal. They're scary. We're running through. This is not optimal. Hey. Oh, I gotta reload. I gotta reload my staff. Bring it on! Oh, that's not. I, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was. I was. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. <sighs> not even close. Not even close. So, all right, first try. Um, I was not even worried. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Who you are? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay. This is. I'm a great wizard. So how did your adventures go, Traveler? Shut up, you just, you just give me a drink. Thank you. There was a there was a table here. I, I can't really. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.